Welcome to the Revit API deleting elements. This is a very powerful tool um, to use with Revit. Um, the first thing I have here is an empty um, class file. So what I want to do here is I want to uh, generate my, my method for deleting um, a single element. And I'll go ahead and send in uh, the document that I'm working with which will be the current document. It could also be, you know, a link document, but um, for, for simplicity, this will just be the document um, that I'm currently working with. And I'm going to go ahead and get an element. Um, and I'm just generate a brand new um, method to get all the elements here. Um, if you haven't seen how to get elements, um, I would suggest watching uh, the other video on how to get elements uh, using the filter element collector. Um, so the thing here which I want to do is um, create the method uh, which will return an element. I'll call it uh, find element by name and I'm going to send in the document the target type or the type of element that I want to find and then I'm going to search for a certain type which will be the target name um, and I'm just going to return what I've found which will be a new filter element collector um, using the current document which I'm working with um, and of class and it'll be the target or whatever um, I'd like it to be uh, when I when I run it inside my other method um, and it'll be the first one or the default that it finds in my Revit project and it'll be an element and here's the lambda expression. So I'm telling it that the E, which is the element, send it to E.getName, which will be the um, element.name. Um, and if it equals uh, my target name. So this is very generic. And it's helpful because it's re reusable code. So once you put something together like this, you can you know, put this uh, somewhere in, in a library and just continue to use it. I always like to do this. It, it just helps everybody read it better. It's of class first um, or default. Um, and they can kind of quickly see how the code's written. So here I'll go ahead and execute that other method and I'll just get the first uh, element by name and I'll go ahead and send the, doc the current document which I'm working with um, the type of and I'm going to get a floor um, which I want to delete. And in um, in the company that I work with, we um, in the structural group called the uh, the floors uh, a slab 24 and just abbreviate it S24. So then I'm going to do a transaction or I'm, where I'm telling Revit that I'm going to um, do a a an action and I want it to be able to hold on to an undo in case I want to roll back my uh, document. And it's a safe mode. It puts Revit into a safety. Um, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and start this transaction. Um, and I'm going to do the document delete. And inside the delete, uh, I'll get the element. And it'll need the element ID. Um, the very last thing that I need to do here is commit or uh, finish the transaction, which I'll just go ahead and commit. And this will delete the very first one that it finds or, or the default one, which is set. Um, the next part is I'll go ahead and delete a handful of things here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the uh, delete um, elements and I'll just kind of name it slightly different. And I'll go ahead and send in the current document as well. Um, and this time I want a list of walls. So instead of floors, I'm going to delete all the walls in my project. Um, and I'll go ahead and uh, also generate a, a, a separate method because this, this can be reusable code um, in case I want to do something with a list of walls. So I'll get all the walls in my project and I'll just send in the document. And in here, I want to do a filter element collector. So I'll do filter element collector. Uh, this will be the collector. 
and you filter element collector um, and I'll go ahead and send in the document and from the, the collector I want to get a, a I collection of elements and I'll just go ahead and call it walls um, and here for my the filter element collector which I initially grabbed I'll get the um, of class and I'll go ahead and go, do the type of wall um, and I'll go ahead and send that to um, two elements uh, that will go ahead and send me a list or an eye collection of, uh, of, of walls. So I'm just going to cast or send this into a, a list. So I, I'm going to uh, generate an empty list of walls and I'll go ahead and do a new list of walls and then I'll go ahead and iterate or loop over um, the walls. Uh, so here's wall. I'm going to just call it a simple W. For every wall in my uh, I collection of walls, I want to um, add it to the um, list of walls here. So I'll just go ahead and add it. Uh, and this will be the W, um, which is the walls here. Um, so now I can use this um, class that I just generated down there and I'll go ahead and send back all the walls. So I'll say get all the walls which I just created here and I'll send in the document, same document which I'm working with. Um, and then here is um, a list of element IDs which I would like to get in order to delete because the uh, document.delete needs the uh, ID. So it'll just be a brand new one. It's empty right now, but I'll go ahead and fill it with the, uh, the walls that I've got, or the element of walls that I've got. So for each one of the walls, which I'll just call W, in um, the walls, which is the list, um, so here I'm iterating or looping over, um, I want to get the element, um, and this is casting, so I want to cast it uh, to, to to an element here, so I'll just go ahead and say um, the wall E, or the element E uh, equals the wall as an element. So here I just cast it. it. Um, so now for the um, the uh, selection here, I want to go ahead and just add it to my selection, but I want to add it as an ID, so I just get the I element. Um, and th this will just let me get the ID. So here I want to do that same handshake with Revit, make sure that my transaction is safe. Um, and I'll just copy and paste because I'm doing the basic, the same thing, except I'm sending in a list here. So they're very similar. You can do one or the other. Um, if we probably peek into the Revit API, this is probably over um, overloaded or has some sort of same uh, signature or not saying it has a little bit of a different signature but same method name um, so here I'll go ahead and send my name or my thing um, my list in and the very last thing I want to do is in my command I want to get the class that I'm using uh, and then the two methods and send in the document um, so I think everything in here is all set up I'll launch Revit uh, which is 2017 um, so hopefully soon I'll, I'll be uh, using the 2018 version uh, for, for, for you guys, for you people, I should say. Um, and here we go. So here I'll go into the tab. I'll just um, go ahead and delete those. So it'll just grab the first floor, uh, the first probably the first one I generated, and just delete all the walls. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, for more videos of the Revit API, please subscribe.